Hey guys, me again. Forgot something. So I wanted to tell you guys something real quick when you're comparing numbers, okay? So I know that we had gone over greater than, less than, equal to, okay, in comparing. But in order for us to make sure that we actually do know how we can tell if a number is larger or not, and it's good practice, I want to show you guys and remind you guys how to represent the numbers using base 10 blocks, okay? So like on this first one right here, if you weren't for sure which one is greater than or equal to 64 or 29, remember how we did the T? Remember how we drew the T? And then we wrote the word two on top and the T stands for tens and the O stands for ones. You can do that very quickly, okay? And then you can represent the number as well. So this right here, if I cover up the O, I see that there are six tens, so I need six rods. Remember we drew sticks, remember that? One, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, okay? And then I drew four ones, four units, one, two, three, four, okay? Remember that, okay? And then for 29, I cover up the ones, and I see I have two tens, so I need two rods, 10, 20, and I need nine units, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, what is important is, is we were really looking at, this has a lot more tens, right? It has six, and we know six is more than two, so that's how we can tell, all right? And whenever you read, remember reading from left to right, just like we're reading a story, okay? So 64 is greater than, okay, 29, okay? So if you guys need to, again, some of you might be able to use a number line, that's fine, whatever you guys need, but this can also help you guys as a strategy to help you guys out on determining which number is greater than, okay? Using your base 10 blocks to represent, okay? All right. Over and out. Peace.